retire or not retire? That is the question still swarming around Senator Dianne Feinstein. The 89-year-old California Democrat is vowing to stay in office through her term, despite being confined to a wheelchair as she recovers from a series of health issues. Now, the New York Times reporting, since returning to Washington, Feinstein has missed six votes and has not participated in any committee hearings or caucus lunches. And the Washington Post speaking to a divided California de Democratic delegates over the weekend. This is from one from Rosemary Williman. She's just following orders as best she can at this point. She's not herself. Marsha Conant, on the other hand, said it's extraordinary, her career, and I think that's getting minimized, and that makes me angry. Now, Feinstein's issues have been happening for some time. She just suffered shingles and related issues with it uh, the, after she came back. She didn't deny she had broader health complications, and then she did have broader health complications, uh, as we reported on May 9th. Uh, but she also had memory issues that she suffered for some time. She was pushed aside as the top Democrat on the Senate Judiciary Committee. She passed up being the president pro tem, which is for the most senior member of the majority party. Patty Murray now has that. So these are issues that have been that she's been dealing with uh, for some time. Can she sustain this? So I think there are two things at play. And unfortunately, the politics is one of them, and we can't ignore that. We can't ignore that um, she has a cru even though she's no longer the top Democrat on judiciary, she's a crucial deciding vote yeah. on that very important committee, especially in this divided government where so much of what Democrats can accomplish is focused on confirming judges and other Biden appointees. Um, so I think Democrats need Feinstein, and there would create a lot of headaches if she were to step down. Uh, Governor Newsom doesn't want the headache that yeah. would be, be created if she steps down. And it also seems pretty clear that um, whether you agree or not, she has decided she does not want to step down. Yeah. But I think the other thing that a lot of people have brought up, there's been some criticism that just from a health standpoint, from a, a, a wellness standpoint, should the best thing for Senator Feinstein be to uh, serve out to not serve out her term and to just kind of be able to go home and, and rest and yeah. not have the stress of being in the U.S. Senate. And it's been a staff ordeal, as the New York Times reports. They say that uh, Ms. Feinstein's staff has made sure she is never alone and is heavily protected. The Capitol Police and the Senate Sergeant-at-Arms have gone to great lengths to keep Ms. Feinstein shielded from photographers and reporters, helping to create a bubble around her as aides run interference on her behalf. I mean, I have personally experienced that, too. I've tried to been in positions where we tried to get video of her. They've said that these are places you're not allowed to get video of her. They've tried intentionally trying to avoid press scrutiny. Obviously, this is unusual given the access we typically have on the Hill. Absolutely. That is extremely rare, and it really does show how cognizant staff, I'm sure her family, those around her are about just general press coverage and, and how people are seeing her. I mean, it was a shock to so many people when they opened the car door, as you see right there, and she arrived to the Senate for the first time after months. She just looked so frail. The thing about the Senate, though, and, and you have a really good point about, you know, the votes and, and just needing to have someone there, tapping someone new would possibly make it a little difficult in terms of timing of votes mm -hmm. and, you know, having all those people there. But we've seen this time and time again with a number of senators. Yeah. You know, this is not that rare that many of them wish to be there Unfortunately, yeah. until per, the day per, they die. Per, perfect segue, because this is indeed not an age-old This is an age-old issue. We look at just a few headlines uh, from the past. 2001, uh, a report about the 100-year-old Strom Thurmond in the office. 2009, from someone uh, named Manu Raju at Politico. Preferred illness <laughs> shows fragile majority. Shows my age as well. And then also our industrious reporter, Ted Barrett, on Capitol Hill in October 2017 about Thad Cochran, who ultimately resigned from office. Robert Byrd was 92 after serving 51 years. Nancy Pelosi says it's sexism to go after Feinstein, but this is really an issue that's been happening for so many years. It definitely has. As long as we've been covering the Hill, uh, the Strom Thurmond ones, you know, uh, most particularly, he, you know, uh, could barely um, exist. He was living at Walter Reed, if I recall, mm -hmm. uh, and still serving the Senate. Look, the difference here is the narrow majority yeah. and the fact that she serves on an important committee, the Judiciary Committee, as he was saying. So I think that is what's at issue here. If she was simply on other committees or, or if it was another senator whose vote wasn't 
as critical, or if uh, Democrats had more breathing room, we wouldn't be talking about this. And it's the but that is what is different. And the here. politics in California are so fascinating because right. you, you have already have a race to replace her, and if. Knew somewhere to just pick a replacement. He has promised to pick a black woman. Well, there is a black woman in the race, Barbara Lee, and perhaps if he gave her the replacement, could give a leg up against Adam Schiff, who Nancy Pelosi supports, other supports. Katie Porter could give a leg up against her. Who knows if he'd pick Barbara Lee? But still, there are politics at play here too. Right, because regardless, he said he'll pick a black woman. Which, even if it's not Barbara Lee, and quite frankly, it would be hard for him to pick Barbara Lee given the fact that Adam Schiff and uh, Katie Porter are also in the race, and nobody wants to have that perception as putting their thumb on the scale of such an important Senate seat for Democrats. Mm -hmm. um, but then, if it's not Barbara Lee, then it becomes, well, who is it? And then that creates a whole nother discussion in California. So, again, I think Governor Newsom would rather not have that on his plate. Um, but that means that Senator Feinstein remains in office yeah. through uh, 2024. Yeah, we'll see. The Senate comes back this week. We'll see what happens then.